welcome to MPI TV. I'm Sarah Solomon and I am so excited to be in one of my favorite cities, Toronto, and also host city of WEC 2019. And we are with a very familiar face to the MPI community, Trevor Louie. Hello, Sarah. Hello, thank you for having us here in your city. Now we are enjoying the Ontario night market here, yes. right? The and waterfront night market, which is right on the waterfront of Toronto. Yes, and it's absolutely amazing. And Trevor's actually taken a leap of faith is what I would call it. And you've really invested your time in building your restaurant called Can Pie Snack Bar. Yes. In addition, you have started a series called Soulful Food Stories, where you actually go around Toronto and hit all of the cool hot spots that have some of the best foods in town. So what we really want to share here today is a little bit about your history with food, um, culinary, and how you really got your start in that, in that field. Well, being a child of a restaurant community, my father was a restaurateur, my grandfather was a chef. I actually started in the catering business in this industry, coming up through the hotels and then moving over to operations in the convention side. So being in the event industry, uh, I've always loved the food side. And so from a creative perspective, it was a leap of faith to sort of jump back to the side that I started in and bring back food in a different aspect to people, particularly in the event side. And while we're at it with the restaurants being successful, I'm also working on a cookbook. And so the cookbook is an extension of the series, Soulful Food Stories, which is a look into not just Toronto, but different communities, different cities, different sides of communities within the cities that people might not see. And so we take that series into parts of the city where we talk about pop culture, we talk about sneakers and music, with a platform of food in the background. And what's really, really cool about Trevor is that you were actually born and bred here in the city and you really are the champion of Toronto. So being that WEC is going to be hosted here in 2019, give us a little you know, taste of what the WEC attendees can expect. We're the fourth largest metropolitan in North America now. So we're really excited to welcome the MPI community back to one of the most exciting, most diverse cities in the world. There are certain things that we all love to do. Eating is one of them. And, and food has always been a vessel of discussion, uh, particularly in the world today. It's the one time we can sit at a table, have differences, but still enjoy a meal together. So for us, food has always been a story. And our events are experiences. So food is part of the experience. So be able to take that and give it back to the community where I grew up in, it really is a blessing. And so when people come back to Toronto, not only do they want them to eat our food, but we want them to try everything else that the city has to offer. So Trevor, food is constantly at the top of the agenda for meeting planners. So what are some of the food trends that we're seeing, particularly here in Toronto? You know, one of the things, being a guy that came in catering, one of the largest budget items you see when planners are creating their events is on the food line item. I don't think it gets enough attention. I think what you're going to see is more collaboration between producers and planners to take the money they spend in food and make it an integral part of the total experience of events. One thing that I really see is really people branching out and creating more an inclusive experience, especially with food, with allergies, with ethnicities, with different backgrounds, integrating all that into the food. The other one, which is a forefront topic that I've been working on, is looking at food waste. You know, we need to take a look at how we spend our money and how we produce food and stop wasting our food as well. So we hope that growth will start in Toronto. Yep, it's all about being sustainable. And speaking of sustainability, we don't want any food to go to waste while we are here at the night market. So uh, here you have some delicacies for us from Kanpai. Being that you guys traveled so far, it, it'd be, I'd be remiss if you didn't get a shot at the city's voted people's best fried chicken. Uh, it is gluten-free, but it's fully sauced, and you will no doubt in my mind enjoy this. Okay, let's take a bite. Take a bite. You've got to take a bite with me. I'm not going to eat fried chicken by okay, myself. I'm in. Okay, cheers. Ready? Cheers. Cheers to Toronto. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. All right, right? <laughs>